All right, guys, in today's video, we're gonna be driving the all new 2024 Chevrolet Silverado 2500 HD. We have the 6.6 .6 liter Duramax turbo diesel in this, makes 470 horsepower, 975 pound-feet of torque, and we will need all of that for about a 9,000 pound uh, trailer back here. This is rated for up to 18,500 pounds of towing capacity. We have 35 inch mud terrains, a nice suspension lift with DSSV Multimatic dampers. Pretty impressive rig. Let's uh, take this out on the road. This will be some of my first impressions on this truck. We're just going to be doing a little bit of a tow loop out here in Palm Springs, California. Tomorrow we'll be exploring these trucks a little bit more off-road, seeing how capable they are. But yeah, let's get this thing fired up. It is hot out here today, about 97 degrees Fahrenheit. Haven't spent a ton of time in the new Silverado. Starting price on this truck is not cheap. It starts at around $82,000 for the Duramax turbo diesel, but this thing is incredibly capable on and off road. Let's go out, see how this tows on the street. We've got a little route here, about 20 minutes, and we'll give you guys some driving impressions. So we'll start off and kind of get our bearings here. Safety first, as always. Lot of torque here. Oops, I always do that in GM trucks. Instead of uh, <laughs> adjusting my mirrors, I end up folding them in. There we go, that's perfect. We're in two wheel drive high right now. Right, it's nice and soft. Got a little bit of noise there from our ventilated seats. This is a beast. I <laughs> love the sound of this Duramax. That's a neat feature. Side facing camera turns on when you put your turn signal on. Brakes feel healthy. Honestly, it doesn't feel that encumbered here in a tight city environment. Just kind of paying attention to my distances from everything. Once we get out of town, we'll be able to open this up, feel how it is with some speed behind it. The 6.6 .6 liter turbo diesel is just a great, great powertrain. You're paying a bit of a premium for it but you can't really argue with 975 pound-feet of torque. Very curious to see how this does off-road tomorrow. If you want a tow rig that you can park, go off-roading, hit the trails, Maybe access some areas that you wouldn't normally be able to with a regular Silverado 2500. This is, uh, this is a pretty solid option. We're in tow haul drive mode right now. So a bit more throttle aggressiveness, giving that extra power we need to tow this 9,000 pound trailer. I've got to admit, I don't really feel that very much behind me. We're at about half the tow capacity of this 2500 HD, and it's doing just fine.
get some manual gear control. If we go into low, we can change gears with our plus minus selector. And we should get an exhaust brake too. Turn that on. Give us a little bit more decel off throttle. I'm liking these split tow mirrors too. Got this wide angle view where I can kind of see my extremities with the trailer behind me and then a more zoomed in view of what's behind me, what's maybe passing me, merging around me. And that turn signal camera is very useful as well. Let's give it some power. Ah, pretty awesome acceleration. <laughs> that feels great, sounds good too. speed automatic transmission here doing some awesome shifts there under power been really impressed with Chevrolet's automatic transmission tuning recently they've always had pretty good tuning with this 10 speed automatic and in this Duramax it really does a nice job utilizing all the torque down low Take a left hander here. Hard on the brakes. And I think we're just going to whip it, Huey. All right, off we go. Full throttle, up to speed. <laughs> that is some power. Pretty impressive. We're pulling around a little bit here at 70 miles an hour. We'll creep it back down to 65. Adaptive cruise, though that is an optional extra. But on an $82,000 truck, I would like to have adaptive cruise standard, please. Getting a little bit bouncier here at speed. This isn't the softest section of road out here in Palm Springs. But we're getting bounced around a little bit with this trailer on the back. Love, love this turn signal camera. That is so useful. Wish it were a little higher res, but you see what you need to. All right, we'll start to slow things down here a bit as we get into town. Brakes doing their job. All right, so some final thoughts here. Towing with the Silverado 2500 HD. Love this powertrain. Suspension's a still a little bit on the stiffer side, but I think it kind of needs to be to tow the loads that this is capable of. This thing is massive, as you would expect. The torque from this diesel is just incredible. Love this powertrain. 10-speed automatic, doing a great job selecting gears, giving us the torque we need out of this engine. Tow haul mode feels pretty good, pretty well tuned as well. Interior is a little bit plastic rich, but you get some nice features in here. 
Again, for your $82,000, you're paying for this truck's capability on and off-road and as a tow vehicle. The max tow rating of 18,500 pounds here is very impressive, and it's handling half that with ease. Excited to see what this is like off-road on some gnarlier trails tomorrow. Until then, though, it's been a pretty cool, quick loop in this truck with a bit of a load on the back. I don't get to do towing videos too often, so when the opportunity on this came up, I figured I'd jump on it and bring you guys along for the ride. All right, we're parked, we're back safely, and that's gonna be a wrap on this video. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you guys in the next one. Stay tuned for more videos on the ZR2 lineup, uh, hopefully in some pretty gnarly off-road situations, which we'll experience tomorrow here in Palm Springs, California. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.